an investigation to what really happened at the Cooper Union Library last night. Why some Jewish students say they didn't feel safe during a pro-Palestinian rally. News Force Miles Miller live in the East Village with an update from the NYPD. Miles. That's right. The NYPD tells us none of those students were actually barricaded, but that the university made the decision to put security in front of those doors to keep them safe. But the students say they felt unsafe, even though there was security outside. This is fake news. Turmoil today at a rally in support of Jewish students at Cooper Union. The students say they were confined in the library last night during a pro-Palestinian rally in the building. They claim the rally was pro-Hamas, which a participant vehemently denied today. We were never pro-Hamas. No one was ever pro-Hamas. We do not. We do not terrorist Despite the upheaval, the press conference continued. Organizers called the incident a failure in protecting Jewish students and calling for accountability. We saw a gang of students who are protesting outside come into a school and hold Jewish students essentially captive in the library. We all heard the loudest banging on metal doors, like floors shaking, walls shaking. We all ran from our seats. I started recording immediately and we saw the doors of the library were not only locked, but like barricaded. The NYPD, however, contradicted the doors were locked in the first place, asserting that the protest was orderly. For about roughly 10 minutes, approximately 10 minutes, they were banging on the doors of the library and banging on some uh, transparent windows that you can see into the library. Cooper Union now finds itself amid a broader dialogue concerning campus safety and freedom of speech in light of the Israel-Hamas war. The school held a pro-Hamas rally. It was supposed to happen outside on public ground. The school allowed the protesters to storm the building. You guys need to separate Hamas and Palestinian people. It's not the same thing. And organizers of the protest say that those who were inside the library were left to feel unsafe. All the while, they say the president of the university was able to get out using a tunnel under the building. For its part, Cooper Union hasn't confirmed any of that, and they have not clarified their stance on yesterday's protests. We are live in the East Village tonight. I'm Miles Miller, News 4, New York.